Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. It is one my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce RTX 3050 8 gigabyte model because this is the desktop version of the card in a Plague Tale Requiem. Very, very intensive title right here. We're running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers. As usual, I'm not overclocking the GPU. You can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z. It's an 8 gigabyte GDR6 version of the card, as I told you. 2560 QD cores, it's running PCI Express 3.0 times 8, but that doesn't affect performance like it does in in some AMD GPUs like the 6500 XT for example and over on the left we are pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5700G and 16 gigabytes of RAM in dual channel 3200 megahertz let's get into it shall we first of all let's go through the settings I'm playing this at 1080p and I feel like that's the adequate resolution for a 3050 and we're using the ultra settings at the moment but these are insanely intensive so we will definitely need to use some DLSS a little bit later as well as lower resolution solutions um so let's go i'm gonna switch to my controller now because with 30 fps well <laughs> it's a console like experience kind of you know and the controller makes it a little bit easier for sure let's get this one out oh boy yeah it's kind of hard way harder to control the aim and stuff like that compared to the 4090 yesterday but well that's to be expected of course Ooh, already dropping into the 20s of course with a lot of vegetation this becomes extremely intensive so there's that oh boy okay now i'm actually playing it with a native 1080p monitor today just to see how it looks at native resolution and honestly guys it's super fuzzy for some reason this game has forced taa i believe it's dropping a lot into the 20s now holy crap you can see like around the hair for example there's a lot of fuzziness I don't like that too much, honestly. I wish we could disable the forced anti-aliasing in this one, but hey, what can you do but complain about it and hope that they fix it, right? <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I guess this is a pretty intensive area as well. It has a lot of vegetation and uh, the fire effects and stuff. I believe there, there are more intensive areas in the map though, but yeah, it's already dropping into the 20s by quite a bit. So ultra settings definitely not recommended for a 3050 in this one. This is a GPU melter, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and enable some DLSS at 1080p quality is probably the way to go, you know. I wouldn't really play below quality and it's... It got a little bit softer, but the weirdness from TAA is a little bit less noticeable. So it might look a little bit better, I don't know. And we're now well above 30 frames per second into the 40s even, so that's very good. Alright, let's go. <laughs> very easy. I'm actually playing it on the easy difficulty, so there's that. Gonna skip the cutscenes, so there's no spoilers, or at least the least amount of spoilers as possible while keeping it entertaining. Alright, we're finally in the city area, and a lot of people told me that this is the most intensive area in the game, and I believe it is for the CPU. You know, the CPU will actually struggle a lot here in these areas. As you can see, GPU utilization is fluctuating a little bit, even with a 5700G. I wouldn't say that this is a CPU bottleneck scenario, but it's certainly fluctuating just a little bit but it's mostly mostly gpu bound anyways and we're getting 40s around here not bad this is exactly what i wanted to test it with 4090 but i guess we actually tested more intensive scenarios with that gpu already <laughs> hey how's it going how's it going buddy what is happening here no one is being executed i don't want to see it then i kind of wanted to see bob being executed in this game that would be fun right but yeah, um, I, I guess DLSS definitely the way to go, guys, with the 3050. It is looking pretty good, not gonna lie. A little bit noisy still, but it was also noisy at native resolution, so yeah. Can we, can we go here? Oh, we can. Oh, it's just the same area. Okay. <laughs> I think we should probably go back to the previous chapter and test it in the woods and stuff with a lot of vegetation, because that's where it's more intensive. This is pretty good looking. I want to explore the, the city area a little bit as well, you know? Let me just uh, disable the LSS just to see how many frames we can get in this area. Okay, there we go. 40, 30s. GPU usage is still fluctuating a little bit, as you can see, so it's not really a CPU-bound scenario at all. It's just a game that is not really that well optimized. 
And now we can see it's it's a little bit sharper for sure than we're using DLSS, okay? Sometimes in some games, DLSS actually looks sharper, like Call of Duty Warzone that I posted previously. It's a bit of a bummer that in this game it doesn't really happen because it would be a major benefit compared to the native TAA. Not really dropping from 30 in this area, so definitely not that intensive. I hope at lower settings it will actually get rid of the anti-aliasing a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, we're back to dropping into the 20s here, as you can see. Not that impressive, is it? Yeah, ultra settings just way too much for a 3050 in this game, guys. So I am gonna go ahead and set it to the high settings preset. We need to restart it. I will do it in just a little bit, but this is it, okay? 1080p high. Oh, this thing was on the entire time. I didn't notice it, but we didn't reach the 60 FPS mark, so it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, okay? Let's just restart now. Okay, I just restarted. Everything is still the same. High settings, no DLSS, native 1080p, and uh, we're back to this fire scene because it's the most intensive one that I've come across so far. Let's go over here. Okay, all good. And it doesn't seem to be dropping too much, but the FPS improvement coming from ultra to high is not really all that big, unfortunately. This is extremely intensive. All right, come on. Take out this bastard right here. Let's go. Nice, good job. Okay, that's a little bit too much for YouTube, maybe. Amicia, come on. Stop that. All right, let's go with this. Come on. Okay, there we go. And now, running around here, it's not dropping from 30 anymore, but it's it's kind of bad still, honestly, guys. I don't like it. I don't like it too much. Let's go. This one is down as well. Go down here. Yeah, look at that. With all of the vegetation, 30s, lower 30s. That's the problem. If it was like 39, 38, it would be fine. But yeah, this is a bit too much for the 3050 still. Maybe. Unless you want to lock it to 30 FPS and have a console-like experience. Last-gen console-like experience. Yeah, that should be fine then. Okay. And that's the last one, I think. Come on. Good stuff. Nope, not the last one. Okay, all right. Ooh, is that guy gonna burn? Oh, I, I should not have killed him. <laughs> I should have waited for the fire to get him. Oh boy, no, it's dropping! 26, 25, it's still pretty much the same. 24 even! On high settings! Ah, uh, most of the time it's gonna be 30 plus, but whenever fire is in the screen and a lot of vegetation as well, it drops tremendously. It's really rough guys damn what about with some dlss here let's find out quality okay well, at least dlss is there to save the day all right that's the strong point of the rtx 3050 compared to something like a 1080 gtx 1080 for example and gtx 1660 ti this has dlss and dlss does make a huge difference as you can see we're now getting 40s instead of 30s and like low 30s. Basically, we gained 10 FPS is what I'm seeing here. Maybe a little bit less in some scenarios, but yeah, way, way better of an experience. You, you need DLSS to play this game with the 3050, guys. Okay, oh, I haven't gone to this area yet. Let's take a look. 50s now, that's, that's nice. And let's drop down there. Can I just jump, please? Okay. I need to do a little cutscene or whatever <laughs> to jump over here near this fire. Of course, the fire isn't really as intensive now because it's only here in the tree. But I believe it wouldn't really drop. And we saw it for a little bit and it did, didn't really drop, you know. I'm going to say that this is probably the way to play this game with a 3050, guys. 45 FPS average in one of the most intensive scenarios in the game. Really solid. What about like DLSS turned off and medium settings now? Gotta restart it, of course, to apply it. Also, guys, what would you rather have me do? Do you like me to spoil things and actually play the game for you and uh, be a little bit more interesting? <laughs> Uh, or would you rather me playing the mo the same scene, most intensive scene, over and over again to test these GPUs? Because I, I really don't know what to do in these linear titles. And it bothers me quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, so this is medium settings now, anyways. And it's looking pretty decent. I, I can see that the textures might not be as good. 
and the detail on the ground and stuff like that. Yeah, the textures on the clothes are definitely noticeably worse, but you can still utilize higher uh, resolution textures. Just set it to like high, you shouldn't really lose any FPS with textures. There we go. Where's the other one though? There should be like one. Yes, this, this one with the lens. Okay, let's go. We got this. Uh, for some reason, they're really slow. Maybe it's because I'm playing on easy. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't want to aim at that. I want to aim at the guy. Thank you. Good. Also, there we go. Does anybody hear that? Nope. Over there. Over there, buddy. Yeah. Can't you see? I am. I am hidden in those things. Oh boy. Okay. No. He, he actually is a little bit smarter than I thought. Um. Let's go. Come on, you're dead as well. Good stuff. So now at least at native resolution we're seeing 30 plus, which is not too bad. But I believe it's gonna drop still around here. Look at that. Come on. Fire effects. Ooh, 30. Yep. Okay. 27, 26, 25. It's so intensive, guys. Damn, the fire, dude, <laughs> with the vegetation. <laughs> Holy, of course, enabling quality DLSS will fix that, 35, getting around like 10 more FPS with DLSS. I don't know, I would probably choose to play this game at uh, high settings, honestly. I'm not on fire, interesting. Usually in games you, you actually get set on fire <laughs> for a while, but not in this one. But yeah, since we aren't really getting 60 FPS still even at medium settings with quality DLSS, I think I would choose to go with high here. Uh, and quality DLSS as well with maybe 30 FPS locked. A consistent experience sometimes is better than like 60 FPS or 50 FPS and dropping down into the 30s at times and then going back to 50. I prefer to, to set it to like 30, get used to it for like 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes it's just gonna become natural. You know, it's gonna feel all right, it's gonna be playable and enjoyable, and uh, you can have fun for sure with 30 FPS in this game. Story driven titles, so no problems. And finally, I went to turn off the LSS once again and play on the low settings preset. Alright. Let's go ahead and quit to the desktop, restart the game, and uh, it's getting 40s, still dropping into the 30s. There's not too much scaling, you know, guys. We're only getting around like 10 more FPS uh, at this resolution and settings compared to Ultra at 1080p as well, so... Yeah, and it's not really looking like low settings. I would have loved to actually see low settings, proper low settings. Because low settings are low. They're supposed to look bad, okay, and perform way better. And that's not what we're seeing here, I think. Let, let me just go see if everything applied, actually. But I think so. 1080p, low, no DLSS. That's exactly what we're using right now. It's not minimum settings, but uh, yeah, it's just it's weird that it uh, performs almost the same. Will it even drop here? Wait a second, oh my god, 31? Well, at least on, on low, it doesn't seem to be dropping too much from twenty F from 30 FPS into like the, the mid 20s and lower 20s. Oof, 27 there. <laughs> Still drops though. <laughs> this is bad, guys, this is not good. I will stop counting the frames now. I am very disappointed at the performance here of this game. Not really at the 3050, honestly, it's just that the optimization of this is kind of terrible. <laughs> it really is. I am gonna go to the city now just to take a look at CPU performance there on low settings. I'm curious to see if the GPU utilization will go down. Now we're close to 50 frames per second on low in the city and it still looks amazing. Like, how are these low settings? I just, I don't understand. They should have definitely disabled like ambient occlusions and stuff like that. Maybe lower the shadow quality, everything. But considerably, not only these settings that we're seeing here. Because <laughs> these are just insanely good looking still. Quickly gonna turn on DLSS, take a look. Ooh, okay, now we're finally seeing a CPU bottleneck. As you can see, the GPU usage is not maxed out. This is exactly what I wanted to take a look at here on low settings in the city. Uh, the CPU is the limiting factor to performance. So, uh, yeah, it's still good enough for 60 plus though, so no problems there. But if you have a stronger CPU, you can actually get more FPS in areas like these um, at the 1080p using low settings and 
quality DLSS, which I, again, I don't recommend that unless we could get 60 plus all of the time, but that's not possible. So just play on high and lock the FPS to 30 with the LSS. It looks pretty damn good that way, so yeah, that's my recommendation here. As you can see, 70% yeah, GPU usage, super, super uh, CPU intensive as well as GPU intensive this game. It's insane. Hey, at least it doesn't stutter like 90% of the games out there, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's been it for the 3050 in A Plague Tale Requiem. Thank you very much for watching it. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.